Now, you also have a stream of integers from 1 to n. I have a stream of integers from 1 to n. Now, with this stream of integers from 1 to n, I have to build this target itself such that that target is built inside the stack and it is built from bottom to top which means if the target is 1 comma 3 comma 5 so the stack ultimately would should be in the form of 1 comma 3 comma 5 now as you can see it has been asked by google but as you can see that the problem is going pretty straightforward so far not yet not sure because maybe it is saying okay the target is what if the target is 3 comma 5 comma 2 it can be something like this also so like still that it is it, it is not clear that what is my target but still i have to somehow make my target and represent that in form of my stack now um it just says a few conditions that okay if the stack is uh if the stream of integers is not empty then pick the next integer from the stream and just push that to a stack on the, on the top of the stack now if the stack is not empty pop the integer on the top of the stack which means you can push as soon as you enter an element you have to have to push you like you you just can't skip it and if the stack top is not empty which means okay it's possible to actually pop that element out now at any moment if i have actually got in my target good simply simply just skip it and like you are good you are done simply have it done now return the stack operations needed to build the target following the mentioned rules if there are multiple valid answer return any of them so ultimately here it's still not verified that how could my target look like my target could be something like this also it can be something like 351 also now what i'm anticipating is it has been asked by google but if you just look go and look for the constraints it says the target is strictly increasing which simply means that how this can be solved is um if i if i have my stream of integers as one to n which means i have integers as one two three four five i can simply go on to all the integers if it is one okay i can i know i I have my target which is strictly increasing. So I know my target is 1, 3. I will have a two pointers kind of approach. I pointer pointing to, pointing to my target, pointer j pointing to my n. I will say, okay, if they both are same, great. Just do a push operation. Okay, I just did a push operation. In my answer, I have a push operation. Simple. Okay, I'll just go on and inc increment both of my values. Now, uh my j is not equal to y okay cool which means still i can't just simply skip it i again have to do a push and a pop operation this means pushing two and then popping two back okay cool now move j three three matching cool matching just simply do a push operation cool just simply do a push operation cool both are incremented i and here it is i uh rj five four again not same so simply push it and then pop it out right so again a push and a pop and then increment uh, sorry increase this will remain same as it is and this will have a j right here five five same oh great again uh do a simply push operation cool again a uh, last push operation now both will increment any edge as soon as any of them reaches end most probably like most like for sure the target will for sure first reach to the end or like at the same time as that of the end stream because target is a subset of n right so as soon as my target reaches my end i just simply say that oh i have achieved whatsoever i wanted and this is the this is the following configuration so i have to just simply do it now what i'm anticipating is google might have asked a follow-up question on top of it that what if the target is not in a strictly increasing order thus in that case we would be needing two stacks as in here you will see i'm just iterating on this entire stream time is o of n and space is nothing but o of one because i'm not using this space it was just to show you i'm just using two pointers i and j i at target j at my n uh, stream of n integers but if i had to use two stacks just to find out um like okay what could be the possible configuration when the target is actually not in that sequence which means it is three five one so i would have to keep track okay i have found a one so please push this somewhere in actual code or maybe you can just have a bit more thinking and just say okay i have pushed it three times previously 
so in my other stack you can just imagine in your other stack as soon as what you will do why if it's, it's just a follow-up question now now follow-up question can be of the form that what if the target is not in the strictly increasing order so you will just skip one you will skip two now you will land on two or three as you land on two or three you just push it but this one and two you would have pushed in or you would have keep in track of okay i have got a one i have got a two previously it can be a bit modification that right now it's just a proportion of operation or push and a pop operation but maybe it can happen that okay i'm just pushing it as another stack now okay i got a three i'll just simply keep on trading i'll just push a four then i'll get a five okay i'll get a five then it might happen that i have to go and check in my new stack what is the location of one i have to pop out those many elements i'll pop four i'll pop two i'll get a one then i just can simply push a one here so that it is what i'm thinking could be the follow-up question for this problem but yeah simple uh what we have to do is simply trade on my target for the current problem, for the current problem we have to simply trade on target simply on the in stream of integers and simply get our answer cool uh, let's quickly jump on to the code it would be pretty short and simple um, as we know that we have to uh, simply return our answer as in it could be a push or a pop the push or a pop now as we saw that we will maintain two integers now both of the pointers uh let's name it as a target uh pointer which is i and also our stream pointer which is um let's name it as stream pointer which is actually initially a uh, zero now i will just simply keep on iterating on my target pointer now while you can also have for loop with it but let's see if we can just do it by a, uh, with a while loop now while my target pointer is less than my uh, target dot size now if that is the case so what we can do is firstly we'll just check if the target of that target pointer target pointer and for sure um push is an operation which we have to perform always so one thing i can do is i can just do okay just push back my value of push right because for sure as soon as i encounter element i will have to push it even if it is in my target or not if it is not in my target i will just simply pop it out so i'll just have a mention if my target uh, if my value at target pointer if it is actually equal to my stream of integers now stream of integers pointing to a stream pointer now stream pointer will start from one itself right it will start from one itself now a stream pointer if it is actually equal great great just simply increase your both target pointer and also pointer and also you have to increase your stream pointer but stream pointer will anyway increase so we can just increase that in the end which means i can just do a stream pointer plus plus because it will increase in else loop also it's just that in the else loop i will just have to make sure it did not match so simply push back that pop pop right not pop uh, in my answer and then it should work and return our answer itself just going on that target if it is less just simply push that element if the element is actually equal to stream pointer just put it in our vector uh, increase the pointer and else for sure you have to do a pop and then simply keep on increasing uh, let's see what we have target T A R G T T A R G T. My spelling is always wrong, but no worries. Uh, it seems fine. Let's push and submit. Yeah, it is done. Cool. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, it's time is over and space is over. Cool. So you bye bye.